like it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Anywho, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the action here. Um, we have a 2v2 on Bergen, and the allies are Bondero, who is also known as Katusha on the forums. He's a pretty, he's a competent player. You know, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try and not speak bad about anyone here. We got 12 cards. The the Australian Faustus Wendy, as we call him, that's a terrible accent, by the way. Um, you know, again, he's uh, he's probably gonna be playing Brits. Um, He's always playing Royal Engineers. I don't think I've actually ever seen him play any other Doctrine besides Royal Engineers. So, Wind Cries Mary, who's a very good player, and Rolling Hamster, who is a very competent allied player. It's going to be a little bit different because I have not seen Rolling Hamster play Axis in a very long time. Um, the two Axis are both playing Panzer Elite, and I think Bondero is going to be playing US, and Twelve Corp is going to be playing. Uh, again, Royal Engineers. So let's get this started. Okay, so we have Bondero starting off. I think this is reinforcements pro. Um, a pretty, a pretty balanced start for Bondero. Uh, he's obviously he's airborne. Um. I'm guessing since they're vanilla airborne, he's gonna have uh, kind of supply crates, which you can, you know, get offensive weaponry or, you know, zooks or whatnot. So that looks like a pretty bounce calling. You know, if you put zooks on those, they'll help them uh, for circle strafing and whatnot. Um, he's also got this jeep up here scouting, so he knows what's coming. Let me go ahead and take a look at rolling hamsters. Rolling hamsters bringing. Luftwaffe. No, yeah, Luftwaffe squads. And he's starting with the Hotchka Stuka, which is a little a little weird start um, to start with the Hotchka Stuka, but, you know, he doesn't have a whole lot of AT on the field, hard AT, so if Bondero were to start with, you know, a tank of some sort, yeah, Rolling Hamster would be in, in a lot of trouble. But he's also playing some pop down. He can actually afford a martyr and something else. Maybe a scout car. Um, I'm guessing he's keeping that pop there in reserves because he doesn't know what he's bringing. So once he figures out, I'm sure he's going to change his calling. Which is uh, very smart to do that. I always keep uh, a little bit of pop backed up so you know what you're doing with it. And he's firing at the Stuka. I'm assuming he's going to be firing it at the mortar. And he misses every shot. And he has dropped some Fallshamakers, and Fallshamakers are terribly effective um, elite infantry. And they can cloak and cover. Yeah, that's what they do best, really, is surprise tactics. Um, as you can see, the airborne Bondero, he's gone with the uh, top tier that allows him to cloak and cover as well. Kind of just like the Falsh Um Which, you know, I don't see a whole lot of people actually use that, uh, that, uh, that tier. Just, um... Yeah, I don't know. He should have extra... There you go. He's got 31 pop. So, he... No wonder why. I was looking at his calling, I was looking a little bit different. Um, a little heavy. Um, other than the 6 pop, you got the AP rounds on the quads. Uh, which is nice. For PE. But, uh, you know, the grease gun support teams is a little, a little sketch. Doesn't make much sense. He's already going ahead and he's laying down smoke cover so he can try and uh, move in with those flamers there. So you can see he's already played uh, two mines down already. I see this Ken right here is cloaked, so we're going to see... He's going to be scouting here, so let's actually switch to his view and switch to Fog of War and see how far he can... See. The Ken has got a really good range of uh, view. I like how he's hiding it in, uh, like right next to that... Uh, 
That's actually where a lot of people hide for cover. I know I usually do whenever I play on this map. I usually go there. Okay, see, he's spotting, and it should give his artillery extra accuracy. We'll see. Supposedly, they make it a. Oh, would you look at that? He's he hit the. Uh... Now he knows that they can cloak. See, that's one of the the beauties of uh, the cloak can try to look at this. He has Bandero has no idea that this can crowd is looking at him right now and can see everything. It's actually a very underutilized unit in the uh, the arsenal. A cloak scout seems probably about the uh, the best thing you would go with. Um, Man, that mortar just took out four people in one shot. It's pretty good. Okay, so we got the uh, the second players on now. So this is R plus again. Um, players come on at different times. So we have Wind on. We're gonna turn off Fog of War, and Wind is playing uh, Scorched Earth. We're gonna start with two uh, minefields. They need to they need to hurry up and kill those things before uh, they lay the eggs or the uh, the tons of minefields. And we got twelve core playing with his croc. No surprise there. Not really, at least. Pretty standard call out. Oh, he's using tank shock. I remember those things are in red cover, so they're taking less damage than uh, they normally would. Which is the flame. Satchel charge. Okay, so the croc, it killed two. Two uh two shrek squads and it killed uh and it killed an SC mine layer. Oh well, I I can munitions half track before it could lay mines. It was hundred and twenty. There's about hundred munitions just wasted there, give or take a couple. The Axis have them actually out -cast. So they need to get that, they need to cut that off. An interesting, we have uh, AT rifles, which are only really effective versus light vehicles or uh, tank destroyers or something like that. Things with pretty much zero armor. So I don't know how effective they will be versus a uh, Churchill crocodile. going up again. Ooh, that house is almost dead. One more hit. Not in time. Advances. 
Get this out. Oh, there's a mortar there. You know, I'm actually. Some people are really good with mortars. I know Aria's fantastic with mortars. Of course, I feel like he has about seven of them in his Axis company. But he's he's pretty good with his mortars. He gets probably about 20 kills in total with his two mortars, or seven, or whatever. An Axis mortar is definitely a priority target because that thing will just hound you constantly. Wendy's trying to lay these mines down, but it looks like he can't find the, an opportunity. The map is very small and very narrow, so it makes it, uh, makes it pretty hard to put him down. Oh, he got lucky though. Sort of. And he has laid down two minefields. And there the mortar gets two more kills. And there's a humble by Mary as well. So that humble might not live very long. I mean, that mortar. Just apologize. And there it gets hit. the body. Just in case anyone tries and clear the body, there's a mine there. Don't fuck it up. Um, it's actually pretty even right now, it looks like. Um, the allies have plenty of time to get rid of the mines, but uh, again, it's kind of hard to get rid of mines in such a small map, because, you know, uh, they can just get reinforcements there, like it would be split. So, uh, That croc, if used correctly, will be really good at clearing out the mines. If he's got a minesweeper, it would work really well. Now, Luftwaffe squads are really weak, but they go and they go up in flames whenever they uh, they meet a croc. They really do, or at least they should. What is this? There we go. There's two already set on fire. Okay, so Axis had the advantage in uh, territory right now. See, this is what I mean about the croc. Is that if he just attacks ground wherever he suspects there's a mine. There you go, dude, that mortar gets another... That mortar's like... I, I don't know, I was gonna think of something clever, but I can't think of anything. Brain dead. He's doing really good with that croc. A wearable win. You don't see very many of those, ever. Um, they're a very inconsistent unit. That Stuka isn't doing too great either. Which is surprising because they're actually uh they're actually very good uh artillery units. Very focused artillery. Assuming you know what you're shooting at. So he's got rid of about thirty percent of the mines over here. Maybe a bit more than thirty percent, more like fifty percent of the mines with just his croc. That's without a mind sword, he's just kind of guessing. I don't know why this minesweeper isn't up there sweeping for him so they can detect him. And I would definitely move that out. Um, it seems like there might be a humble barrage going that way. Yeah, 
man, that is really surprising. I didn't know uh, anything could survive a direct round of, round of a Hummel shot. It's pretty. Bandera did pretty good to get out of there quickly enough, though. here and he does this a lot with this uh, this company is he will do a place a mine he'll go to the next side place mines go to the next side and actually there's only two sides so we'll, we'll all go twice but uh he likes to cut off the sides with uh, these roadblocks here it's very effective and it's not so much to keep you out as to keep you in Pretty stagnant game so far. I mean, nothing's. You, know, you can breed a bunch of mosquitoes in this sort of game, but uh, I haven't. It's only 15 minutes in, so you know, whatever. Whenever Mary gets time, and there's no rush, especially with this company, there's zero rush. I'm thinking about doing a, another shoutcast. Um, probably gonna turn off the fog of war and watch it from somebody's view. See what they see. Might make the game a bit more interesting. Sounded more interesting in my head, but never mind. <laughs> he's using his satchel charges like grenades. Now I see why he's got the, uh, the HMGs. Look, see this can crash just right in front of them. They don't even know. This is where that horrible one is very inconsistent. Is that it's not? I don't think it's very good versus cover. Four kills, it has to go repair, it's, it's not very good. Of course, I think it is a light tank, and it doesn't cost very much. It costs like the same as an Oswald, so hit or miss. I actually think uh, it has to damage more of his unit. Ooh, get lucky, crocodile. Get lucky twice. Sit up, walk. Man, this is just like Lux City right now. What is going on? More luck than a black leprechaun. Looks like uh, Bondera is gonna go uh, hunt the homo. He's got two M18. Uh, M18s are a bit different than M10s. They got a slower rate of fire, a higher penetration, though, so. and they, uh, I think they're faster. I'm not sure. They're very, very effective versus uh, heavier tanks like the Panther. Very strong versus a panther or tiger. Um, 
They can't take a hit, but they can dish out a lot of damage if used correctly. They're kind of expensive though, so I don't know if you would use this for a low charge. I think I'd use it more for if I'd use M tens for something like this. See, and those were those AT guns, you know, they almost lowered it to half health, to quarter health. Damage. Nice crush. That's pretty cool. Now he's got the Stuka, and he's gonna get the Martyr. So, already, they've made a nice amount of uh, cost up, probably to make the one use, because the, uh, the Stuka is very expensive. Or, PE pool terms, it's a bit expensive. Yikes, yeah, I don't think that one's gonna get away. No, oh, they might. Oh, no. Bam. Bam. That's a little silly. I don't know what he was doing there. Well, right now the uh, the eyes can actually push pretty hard. There's uh there's not a whole lot stopping him right now beside the mine. Beside the mines. the awful 17 counter which is just it's just terrible uh, it has no use outside of uh, heavy tanks I would not use the kind of light tanks or anything like that or medium tanks or you get the whole garage going up going probably towards the AT gun He drops his airborne right on his M18. That's a nice mine. Almost killed the entire squad. Sorry, quite a big engagement there, so I want to make sure that uh, when I talk, I didn't ruin anyone's uh, viewing. Sometimes people like to see the battles and whatnot, so I like to uh, I like to be quiet when there's a huge engagement like that. Um, overall, I think the uh, access didn't do too well on that push. The uh, lost a couple loot off. I mean, loot off are cheap, but you know you should never willingly uh, throw away units. I don't know why the allies aren't pushing. It seems really silly. I mean, one tank, one uh, one well-worked tank could really just mess them all up. There's literally no AT.
Okay, sorry about that. I, uh, rudely interrupted. But let's get this going. Quite rudely, I must add. Let me switch over here to the access view for a second. Ooh, brands versus, uh... Oh, look at those... Look at those brands! Ooh, and we have a moth by Wind Cries Mary. That is one of the, uh, reward units for the Axis. And that is, uh, I guess it's kind of given us for the Axis. Now I walk across that road. Humble is firing. A good shot by the Humble. Ooh. The Henschel has been shot down. By the Bofors. Fuck all your Bofors. A really good hum over Hamas by Wham. Another world of Wham. Now, the Maz in the 2v2 is a little, a little weird. Um, it's, again, this is a very narrow map. Uh, there's not much places run in a 2v2. It makes it all that much harder to actually escape a Maz or try and outcap it or something as it can just... Even though it moves slow, you know, the map isn't very big, so it won't take very long just to switch uh, sides. So, uh, the Maz in the 2v2 with all of its health and armor and the fact that it's got two guns... And it's got some pretty decent range. What the fuck? Did it just run over another mine? I just did a replay, uh, another replay where it ran over a mine. I wasn't quite sure, but it's the second time it's run over a mine and it's not had a damage engine. And I'm fairly certain that on every other unit, you get a damage engine. That's a little fucked up. That thing does not get a damage engine. Especially a Maz. A little screwy. I don't know if I like that. And we have the infamous Piats, which are probably some of the grossest uh, handheld AT. Again, very inconsistent. We just saw that already shell bounce off of the Maz. They're just throwing everything at the mods, they're just shooting. Bam. Hopefully, it will hit the mines here and for sure give it a damage engine. And that is why Piots suck. It, you have one bounce off and you have three others missed. I mean, a Maz is like as slow as you can get, so I don't know how the hell a Maz dodges peons. I'd move out of there, the, uh, the homo is firing. Bam! The homo gets a solid shot and destroys the mine that I think, uh, banking on. An AT gun was on a mine, so it just instantly explodes. 
so there goes a, another AT gun. Katusha is getting a little heated because uh, I guess Win started uh, changing teams like he always likes to do. And uh, I can't blame him, it doesn't seem uh, very fair at the moment. I mean, this almost got 23 kills, you know, this is 4 light vehicles and 5 kills and barely has a sliver of health taken away. They own more than half the map. Or actually like half the map. If anyone's played War Thunder, that looks exactly like one of the J.O. series, the D.O. God bless you, Bofors. Right now, since the, uh... The Moz is out in the middle where there's lots of uh, wooded area. I mean, not wood. Oh, man, you know? oh, there's another mine! There we go. There's a damage engine. As I was saying. Oh, waste. Waste. As I was saying, um, the Moz is to be useless. Come on. You have to hit that. What are you doing? Stop! Stop! They can see you, you fool! I think we had two penetrating hits on that. Anywho, a mods with the damage engine is just... You could pretty much, on a big, any bigger map, you could ignore it. Uh, it's a bit different. Oh, the irony. The eyes have to get AT on the field. If they could get a tank destroyer, an M10, M10 could easily circle this and do a lot of damage. A lot. And there is the victory. Victory is yours uh, by Cap. That's what it's saying, that you got a, you got a couple minutes here before the countdown's gonna start and you're gonna start losing pop. Katusha's like, I beg you, please clap for me, please. Please, my Nia, clap for me. Frosted. Bam. I don't know what this Opal Blitz is doing. I, I, it's just like running around. Yeah, see they should've... Why is he got Dukes? Why does he have our heart? What's going on here? Uh, he's got covering fire. He's dead. These are where the Luftwaffe are just extremely scary. These armored cars are fairly scary too. Good dodge. Especially versus recoilless rifles. They got like a flank that allows them to just escape any damage. As you can see that one's got four kills, but you know, they were out in the open and not deserve to die. Okay, so we have a Firefly on, that's going to do a little bit of damage, but the Moz, I think, ha has... Well, enough to hit it. No, 
know, the Firefly doing some solid damage. I don't know how much it's done. I wish I had, like, a calculator or, you know, something. Like, a guesstimate that's done, like, three to four hundred damage. Mary's got three more mines going down. Scorched Earth mine. And, uh... I think he's looking to solidify that, uh... That ability to, uh, make sure they can't cap. Is that, that's what he's looking for. And, you know, if you put those mines out, the late makes his miles. Uh, get those repairs off because the mods does take a forever to repair. Or so legend says. Looking pretty bleak for the allies. I have uh, this day I had so now I have like zero face in the allies. I feel like Bondero's doing a lot of work in terms of killing everything, uh, killing everything, but in terms of uh, keeping the pop and trying to keep them in the game. But I feel like 12 Corp has done the muscle and he's tried getting rid of all the mines and. Yeah. Done a decent amount of killing, but uh, I guess you really should do a lot of killing if you're a royal engineer. But he isn't ablative, which is a little weird. There's there's no reason not to go ablative. People like to say ablative, I like to say ablative, aluminum, aluminium, let's just... Puma and Puma. Let's be straight here. There's American and there's English. I speak American, damn it. This is a really slow game. This is the 36 minutes, so it's taking quite a while for a 2-2. They've, uh, they've lasted a lot longer than I uh, expected. Try to take a decent 2v2. Probably lasts about this long. A good one will last about 45. Actually, it might be a bit different. A good one might last 36. Since that moss is gone, he, got, he might put in some work with their crop. There's like zero Panzer Elite AT on the field, which has always been the downfall of uh, Panzer Elite. So the Martyrs are probably one of the best AT platforms, but it's very easy to take advantage of them. As you can see, the axes are uh, back capping pretty hard. The eyes are getting low on pop because 12 core here has uh, has 28 pop. And that's uh, you know, there's only like three sectors. Yeah, Rolling Hamster's got 46, Wind's got 40, Bondero's got 34. Um. 
I say good job to 12 core though to uh, clear out those vines. It's actually uh, very, very good. Oh man, slow mine on the croc. It's like a KT that's being rolled on logs. That Maz is almost healed. Yeah, I think the eyes really need to take advantage of the fact that the, uh, the Maz is repairing. They need to advance. They need to push. They need to gain that pop. They need to bleed the axis really hard. Uh, this is probably one of their best chances to win the game. Right now there's no AT, and that's exactly, they're doing exactly what Wynn wants them to do, and distract. He is trying to distract them from the, uh, capping aspect. And the mods is back up in action. Don't hit a slow mine. Thank God. So there goes pretty much the allies' uh, biggest chance to win right there. Is that the the mods is back? There doesn't look to be any AT other than the Firefly, which seems to be running away. Right there. Oh, and we have an AT gun that's dropping right in the middle. But unfortunately, the scout car will uh, flank it. Even though we have a pair of zoop right there. Teleport's doing an excellent job with that croc, uh, although he needs to defend the AT gun with it. So this is what I mean about those mo those uh, roadblocks, is it's not so much to keep things out as it is to make sure they don't escape. Moss has taken quite a bit of damage um, being repaired. I mean, it's, it's definitely made up its cost, though. Uh, Croc is as good as dead. I think they are like the exact same speed or something. They're pretty 
similar speed wise. And he hit a slow mine. You're dead, Jim. So again, the Maz has a damaged engine, and it has no more repairs left. I guess how that thing goes. You can do it, Chacho! Oh my god! He did it! He did it! The church is on free! Twenty-six kill Churchill, that's pretty good. Uh, I think this is game over though. It looks pretty I think uh the Axis one. Yep, there's the uh the GG right there. Uh, it looks pretty close to being out, man. I mean, there's a... Uh, skip to the end here. It's crazy. Bandera's been annihilated. Poor guy, still fun. And he's not taking off his crock. I don't know what he wants to do with that, but uh, it's just gonna get eaten a lot here. Skip, 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 skip to something useful. To something useful. Oh shit. If he can kill those Luftwaffe squads. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, he could. He's got to play this very carefully. He did it! He did it! Oh my god! He killed the only capping power! He killed it! Oh my gosh, don't fuck this up. He needs to separate those two, send the half track one way, send this the other way, and then. There you go. That's. No, I was wrong. Don't listen to my expert advice. The scout car's got to die. He needs to get in cover also. The scout car is almost dead. I think those Anzacs might be able to kill it. Freaking way. I win has conceded defeat. That is impressive. Um, oh, he just dropped. What the fuck is going on? Uh, I don't know what the hell he was talking about. That was intense. Um, 
don't know what the fuck Wynn was talking about. Well, I guess, but it's kind of cheap. Anywho, um, that was a pretty crazy game. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that was uh, it was very boring. As in, I almost fell asleep in the middle of that game. But it did turn out a bit better near the end. Uh, stuff started getting done. The early game was a lot better than the mid game. The mid game was just so stagnant and just so boring. And oh my god, it was it was kind of frustrating to watch. Um, I did think the Axis had. Uh, I actually thought the Axis had a much bigger advantage than the Allies. Um, mainly because Katusha, also known as Bandero. Uh, hasn't played in a while, or at least consistently. And Hester plays pretty consistently. Wynn plays consistently. 12 Core plays consistently. But 12 Core is uh, not exactly at the par with Wind and such. But um, I'm pretty surprised by the outcome. It was a good game. Um, I would like to once again thank everyone for watching. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. I will probably release a shoutcast once a week as long as I keep getting uh, games and people start posting them on the forums. And uh, I invite anyone who is on ModDB or checking out the mod to come visit us on the forums and get to know us and play some games. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this shoutcast. I, uh, I enjoy shoutcasting, so I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.